Hi guys, welcome sa Engineer the Nut channel. Sa video na ito ay i-discuss ko ang divisibility rules for numbers 2 to 11. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So bago tayo mag-proceed sa divisibility rules for different numbers, let's just have some concepts. A number n is divisible by another number m if we can divide n by m exactly or without remainder. For example, check natin kung divisible ang 8 by 4. Yan. Para malaman natin kung divisible ang 8 by 4, sabi sa definition, divide daw natin yung 8 sa 4. And then, let's check the answer. Kung yung sagot ay eksakto at walang remainder, Therefore, 8 is divisible by 4. And since alam natin na 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2, which is exacto, therefore, 8 is divisible by 4. Another example, is 16 divisible by 8? So again, para malaman natin kung divisible ang 16 sa 8, perform lang natin yung 16 divided by 8. And since 16 divided by 8 is equal to 2, an exact answer uli, therefore, 16 is divisible by 8. Isa pang concept ay, divisibility rules help us determine whether a number is divisible by another number, even without actually performing the division. So halimbawa, gusto nating malaman ang divisibility ng large numbers sa isang random number. So let's say we want to find if 1,243,568 is divisible by 4. So kung mapapansin yung napakalaki ng number na to, kung i-divide natin siya by 4, right? So napakahabang division ang gagawin natin. Kung alam lang natin yung rule ng divisibility sa 4, no need na tayong mag-divide gamit yung long process of division. Since, i-apply lang natin yung divisibility rule ng 4 at alam na natin agad kung divisible nga ba itong malaking number na to sa 4. So therefore, mapapadali yung pag-determine natin. Ngayon, alam na natin ng concept ng divisibility Pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa divisibility rule for 2. So, a number is divisible by 2 if its last digit is either 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. For example, 100, 242, 394, 756, 8,348 So sabi, divisible daw yung isang number sa 2 kung nag end siya sa 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. O pwede natin sabihin kung even number yung isang number, divisible siya sa 2. So since itong mga binigay kong mga example ay nagtatapos sa 0, 2, 4, 6, at 8, According to the definition, lahat sila divisible sa 2. So, proceed tayo sa divisibility rule for 3. So, a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. Example, 123. So, sabi, divisible daw ang number sa 3 kung yung sum daw nung digits nila ay divisible sa 3. So, i-add natin yung digits nung 123. So, meron tayong 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. Since 6 is divisible sa 3, since 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2, therefore, 123 is divisible by 3. Another example, 369. So again, sum up natin yung digits. So we have 3 plus 6 plus 9 
is equal to 18. And since 18 is divisible by 3, since 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6, therefore 369 is divisible by 3. Okay, let's proceed to the divisibility rule for 4. A number is divisible by 4 if its last two digits is divisible by 4. For example, 1,012. So, para malaman natin kung divisible ang isang number sa 4, i-check daw natin yung last two digits niya. So, sa example natin, 1,012, ang last two digits niya ay 12, right? Since 12 is divisible by 4, since 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3, then, according dun sa definition, 1,012 is divisible by 4. Another example, 3,504. So again, check natin yung last 2 digits ng number. So yung last 2 digits niya ay 4. And we know that 4 is divisible by 4. Since 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. And therefore, the number itself is also divisible by 4. Now, let's proceed sa divisibility rule for 5. A number is divisible by 5 if its last digit is either 0 or 5. Example, 255 and 1890. So, self-explanatory lang, pag daw nagtatapos sa 0 at 5 yung number, divisible siya sa 5. So, sa example natin, 255 and 1,890, pero silang nagtatapos sa, sa 5 at 0. Therefore, they are divisible by 5. Let's proceed with divisibility rule for 6. A number is divisible by 6 if it is both divisible by 2 and 3. So, example, 312. So, sabi, Para daw maging divisible lang isang number sa 6, dapat pareho itong divisible sa 2 and 3. So, kung try natin yung example na 312, so, kailangan nating ma-identify kung divisible ba siya pareho sa 2 at 3. So, sa 2, automatic, divisible siya kasi nagtatapos siya sa 2. Now, sa 3 na lang, check natin kung divisible siya sa 3. So, para malaman yung Divisibility niya sa 3, add lang uli natin yung mga digits niya. So, we have 3 plus 1 plus 2. We have 6. And since according sa rule ng divisibility ng 3, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Since 6 is divisible by 3, therefore, 312 is divisible by 3. And since nasatisfy ng 312 yung divisibility rules both sa 2 and 3 it is divisible by 6 also so isa pa 450 again even number siya at nagtatapos sa 0 so divisible siya sa 2 ngayon check natin yung divisibility niya sa 3 so add natin yung digits 4 plus 5 plus 0 is equal to 9 and 9 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 450 is divisible by 3. And since nasatisfy ng 450 yung divisibility sa 2 and 3, it is also divisible by 6. Now, let's proceed with the divisibility rule for 7. So, a number is divisible by 7 if subtracting 2 times its last digit from the remaining digit gives an answer of 0 or divisible by 7. Example, 483. So, sabi sa divisibility rule ng 7, multiply daw natin yung last digit sa 2. So, yung last digit natin ay 3. So, times natin siya sa 2. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And then, subtract daw natin yung sagot doon sa remaining digits ng number. So, ang remaining digits ay 4 and 8 or 
48. So, subtract natin yung 6 from 48. Ang sagot ay 42. And according dun sa rule, kapag daw yung final answer ay divisible sa 7, divisible na yung number sa 7. And since 42 is divisible by 7, since 42 divided by 7 is 6, therefore, we can conclude that 483 is divisible by 7. Another example is 126. So again, multiply natin sa 2 yung last digit. Yung last digit ay 6. So 6 times 2 is 6. 12. And then, subtract natin itong sagot sa remaining digits ng number. Yung remaining digits ay 1 and 2 or 12. So, 12 minus 12 is 0. And since the final answer is 0, and according dun sa definition, kapag daw 0, yung sagot, divisible din yung number sa 7. So, therefore, 126 is divisible by 7. Now, let's proceed with the divisibility rule for 8. So, a number is divisible by 8 if its last three digits is divisible by 8. For example, 25,104. So, para malaman naman kung divisible yung number sa 8, check naman natin daw yung last three digits. So, yung last three digits ng example natin ay 104. And then, check natin kung divisible daw ito sa 8. So, 104 divided by 8 is 2. So, since 104 divided by 8, is exactly equal to 23. Therefore, according to the definition, since that the last three digits is divisible by 8, therefore, the number itself, 25,104, is divisible by 8. Another example would be 53,048. So again, check natin yung last three digits Last three digits ay 0, 4, 8, or 48. And we know that 48 is divisible by 8. Since 48 divided by 8 is 6. And therefore, the whole number itself, 53,048, is divisible by 8. Now, let's proceed sa divisibility rule for 9. So, a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. Example, 2,718. So, para malaman natin kung divisible ito sa 9, i-add lang daw natin yung digits niya. So, 2 plus 7 plus 1 plus 8 equal to 18. And kapag daw yung sum nung digits niya ay divisible sa 9, then divisible sa 9 yung number. Since 18 is divisible by 9, since 18 divided by 9 is equal to 2, therefore, 2,718 is also divisible by 9. Another example, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6
So, self-explanatory lang kapag daw nag-e-end sa 0 yung number, divisible siya sa 10. Since itong examples natin na binigay ko ay nagtatapos sa 0, pareho, then divisible sila sa 10. Now, let's proceed to the divisibility rule for 11. So, a number is divisible by 11 if after forming the alternating sum of the digits, the result is 0 or divisible by 11. Example, 918,082. So, pag sinabing alternating sum of the digits, is subtract, add, subtract, add, subtract natin yung mga digits hanggang makarating tayo sa dulo. And then, kapag daw yung sagot ay 0 or divisible by 11, divisible siya sa 11. So, kung gagawin natin yun sa example, we have 9 minus 1 plus 8 minus 0 plus 8 minus 2. The final answer is 22. And since 22 is divisible by 11, since 22 divided by 11 is 2, According to the definition, the number is divisible by 11. Another example would be 9,856. So again, perform natin only yung alternating sum. We have 9 minus 8 plus 5 minus 6 equal to 0. And since... Kapag daw 0 yung sagot sa alternating sum, divisible yung number sa 11. Therefore, 9,856 is divisible by 11. So, ito yung mga divisibility rules for numbers 2 to 11. So, maganda kung kabisado nyo ito o naiintindihan nyo na yung iba't ibang divisibility rules sa mga number since Mahalaga ito sa pagkuha ng prime factorization ng numbers, pati na rin sa paghahanap ng LCM at GCF ng numbers. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na ito at maraming salamat sa panonood.